Hey friends, today we are doing one of my favorite things, the monorail crawl. We're gonna be taking the monorail to the different resorts at the Magic Kingdom Loop and actually getting a drink and probably a snack at each of our favorite locations, or at this moment, each of the location that's actually open. So, let's go do this. And our first stop is going to be the wave with Jackie. <laughs> and look, your hair actually matches the wave. Right. Very fancy. <laughs> the wave is one of my favorite lounges at the Disney World resorts. And we actually had to make a reservation to come here. But normally, you don't need a reservation to come in and use the lounge. That's just open by availability. We just wanted to make sure. But as you can see, there's nobody in here. We got the wave to ourselves. We got the whole wave to ourselves. <laughs> One of the reasons we came to the wave is because they are doing a end of summer seasonal drink, which I am super excited to try. I'm not big on the liquor drinks. I'd like to stick to my beer, but when something fancy happens or appears, I gotta try it. And also, they actually have the top of the world lounge cake right here at the wave. They're serving it down here temporarily because the Top of the World Lounge isn't open. So we're gonna try that as well. Here is the end of summer drink. And take a look at this because the flowers are edible. This is, these look amazing. Yeah, these look really, really good. Here is a look at all of the ingredients that are in the end of summer splash. Pretty fancy stuff. And I'm excited to eat the flowers because they are edible. Edible flowers. First sips. Yeah. We're gonna try this out. Yeah, again, I, cheers to the end of summer. I have a feeling you're gonna like this and I'm probably not gonna like it. Yeah, yeah. But I tend to like really light summery gin cocktails and... Yeah, I like beer. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. You know what I'm gonna do though? I'm gonna eat the other flower and then take a sip with it. That's like, okay. I'm gonna see if that actually changes anything. Or too. should I try it straight first? Let's try it straight yeah, first. Yeah, okay. I don't like it. <laughs> I mean, it's not that it's a bad drink, but I don't like grapefruit. Yeah, I I don't also like grapefruit. Let's get the flower house. <laughs> I don't know what to say about this. <laughs> and here is the cake. This is the top of the world lounge cake, except for they added a little wave signature right there. And it's not like the full piece that you would normally get, but it's just really good to know that you can still get this while the top of the world lounge is closed. I feel like it's important to maybe cut it this way. And then that way, when you take your first bite, you're gonna get an actual bite of all seven layers. Can you do that? Can you get all seven? Well, I'm bite? gonna fit it in there. <laughs> this is gonna happen. Okay. We're gonna get seven layers in one bite. I'm gonna okay. hold it over. Yeah, I folded it over. Yeah, too. just like that. And there it goes. That is a good cake. That is yummy. That is a good cake. The cake was fabulous. I love that cake. It's definitely one of the best cakes on property anywhere. And the drink was just not my cup of tea. I mean, it was okay. It was a great drink. I finished it. Uh, I just don't like the grapefruit, you know? It's not one of my favorite things. So, now we're going to move along to our next destination. I'm excited to get there. Let's head to our trusty, reliable form of transportation, the monorail, and go to the next resort, which I believe is the Polynesian. It's also very important to point out that every time you actually board the monorail at a different location, they are going to take your temperature. And here is the temperature screenings area. Thank you. And our escort for today is going to be Monorail Yellow. Yellow! Yellow, yellow. <laughs> and whatever you do, don't stand like a cool guy by the door. Look how cool he's standing. So cool. Doesn't he look like a cool guy? He's way too cool. Since we've only accomplished one stop and one drink, I don't think I'm going to be practicing monorail. any of my monorail aerobics just yet. <laughs> but I feel like maybe that'll change. Molly Kaliki Maka, we are at the Polly. 
fun fact about the Polynesian, they just announced that they're not going to actually reopen until 2021 because they're going to take that time and actually do the refurbishment here. The only thing I'm concerned about is I hope I don't have to wait a year to eat at Ohana. One of the things that did reopen though is Tambu Lounge and I'm excited because it will be the first time that I've been out here since the reopening. The bad news is I hear they changed their food menu a little bit and they also socially distance a lot of the seating that was actually in here. There's no bar stools. All they do have is five tables, five tables in there, but you can always get drinks out here in the waiting area and they'll have a bartender come out and serve you. So I think that's really fun because this is very colorful. And since I can't actually eat at Ohana, at least I can kind of sit down and have a drink near it. The only thing that's separating us is the bamboos and the tiki gods. Here's a look at the appetizers that they're serving here now. California roll, some hot wings, some flatbreads, and some barbecue pork ribs, but I want the noodles and dumplings. They've taken them off the menu because I think this is all getting prepared actually in uh, Kona Cafe, where used to, they actually had Ohana prepare their food. So that's the reason why they changed it. I have to say, the seating arrangements in here are spectacular. These little chairs are really so comfy nice. <laughs> and a nice little pillow on it. And since we're at the Polynesian, I think I'm going to get a beer this time, but I'm going to get a Hawaiian inspired beer. I'm a little excited for this. They have one of my favorites, which is the pineapple mono wheat. I had this at Epcot this year, but then they also have a coconut porter. I think I'm going to try the coconut porter. And here is our beers a coconut, and then a pineapple. Very fancy. Cheers. Cheers. Boom. <laughs> this truly is what it is, a porter. I don't taste much coconut, but it's still a very delicious beer. I really like the pineapple one. I probably should have stuck with that, but you gotta explore. You gotta try new things. <laughs> My sushi has arrived. So it's just a basic California roll. That's all they're serving right now. I would have gotten anything if they had anything else but this is all they've got they've also got packets instead of like a jar of soy sauce so they may need some more of that but we'll make do with what we've got jackie actually got the california roll i am not gonna partake in this <laughs> i mean i've had sushi before i mean i can eat it but it's not something i enjoy as much oh, like I it, love it. it's not like something i'm like i'm gonna go get some sushi Ooh, i don't I think i've ever been to that point like I said, it was definitely a porter, but it was still very enjoyable. I feel fancy with this glass, too. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> fancy glass. Oh. <laughs> now I think it's time we actually move along to our next stop, which is the Grand Floridian. But I really like what the Tambu Lounge did with these little chairs and these, like, tables. Very comfy, very cozy. I miss the bar stools. Another question that probably is asked a lot they do still have the back scratcher. The back scratcher is just served on the side instead of in the cup. Just good to know. I also like how they actually have their signs for the monorail. Look at this. In a true Polynesian spirit, monorail transportation starts at 7 a.m. for breakfast reservations, and then it ends at 8 p.m. No Epcot monorail service at this time though. And then they got their little lays on top. And speaking of Lay's, I thought that maybe they would still give them out, just like hand them to you instead of giving them to you, but that would actually break tradition, so they're just not giving out any Lay's at all at this moment, even when you check in or anything like that. We gotta get our temperature checked. Bada bing. You're all set. Thank you. Oh wow, and look at this, we're gonna get back on the same monorail. Monorail yellow. Come on, Jackie! They call me Mellow Yellow! <laughs> oh, and look at that. The beautiful Grand Floridian. It is a very beautiful resort, though. It really is. Even though it's pretty occupied right now by the NBA. People can still come and enjoy it. The best thing about the Grand Floridian at this moment is just how empty it is. There is not a single person down there right now. Oh, never mind. There's one person over there. You see him just sitting there? He's just enjoying himself. If 
I was him, I would probably just sit down and uh, take a little nap. It's a good spot to take a nap. And with the Grand Floridian, we're going to go to the Enchanted Rose. This is one of the few spots that's actually open over here to dine. They only have the Grand Floridian Cafe and then the quick service. And this is the only lounge, which is a good one. And definitely one of the more visually appealing actual lounges. I love it in here. It is so themed. The library area is closed, but the main area is actually open with very limited seating. This is the main bar area. They actually have a little seating area over here, and I love all of these chairs in here. They look like the best comfy chairs. Look at this, and look at those ones. So we're gonna sit right here. Inside the lounge itself, they do have some starters like crab macaroni and cheese, truffle fries, and some flatbreads, and some amazing cocktails. I have had all of these cocktails. I actually made it a point to try all their signature cocktails. So today I'm just sticking with my good old Bud Light because I like the way they serve it. They serve it in these very nice like cups or chalices, I like to call them. I got a Tampa Bay Brewing Florida Cracker. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Nothing like a fancy Bud Light in a fancy chalice in a fancy room. I like it. Hmm. <laughs> Not only do I just love these little chalices, but I also so love the bar stools that they actually have at so the bar. Funny. Look at those bar stools, aren't they amazing? This whole entire bar area itself, like I said, and that up there, it's beautiful. And check out Sheila, she's an amazing bartender. But now we're gonna have to move along for our next stop, which is gonna kinda just go in order. So we went from the Contemporary, to the Poly, to the Grand Floridian. Next place, Magic Kingdom. What's she doing? I'm waiting for Jackie to catch up, but what do you think the chances are we're gonna get the yellow monorail again? I see the green ones leaving right now. How cool would that be? Magic Kingdom. How are you today? Thank you, oh, I'm good. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yep. We're going the lime green monorail now. Look at that. And just because the Magic Kingdom is our next stop, doesn't mean we're not gonna get an adult beverage. Welcome to Gold Monorail Line. Our next stop is Magic Kingdom. For your safety, please remain seated at all times. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> to those guests who just joined us, no. welcome. Our next stop is the Magic Kingdom. For those of you standing, please hold on to the handrails throughout our journey and stay clear of the doors. For the beach resort, and we are. Lisa, oh. Can you beach club me? Yep. <laughs> just because I was just grabbing those rails doing my monorail aerobics. And look, the walkway right there. Where? Oh, there it is. Right yeah, there. we missed it. There's like a little bridge. It actually it. folds. Yeah. Oh. And welcome to the Magic Kingdom. Monorail coming into station. Oh, monorail gold, look at that. And like I said, even though we are going to the Magic Kingdom, we're still gonna be able to get an adult beverage because at most of the sit-down restaurants, they do serve alcohol. At Tony's Town Square, they have a selection of Italian beers. At the Plaza, they have Bud Light. And even at Skipper Canteen, they got Blue Moon. And we have a reservation. Everybody's actually leaving because the park closes in literally, I think, 45 minutes. So we're getting here just in time. And since we have a couple minutes before our reservation, we might as well just enjoy a little bit of Main Street. I love just hanging out on Main Street and looking at all of the people and the buildings. It's one of my favorite places in the world. When taking photographs, the exception would be when eating and drinking. They have a new message. Yeah, clean hands often and thoroughly. Yeah. Cover your mouth and nose. Very interesting. And maintain physical distancing. Oh no. A balloon has left the coop. It's gone. It's a goner. I wonder how far they go up in the sky without bursting. But now it's time for Tony's 
and uh, we're gonna definitely be seeing outside because then you can enjoy a beer and actually Main Street at the same time. Very rare thing. Yeah! This is so awesome though. Look at this. Oh, look! Now we can see all the characters are coming out to say goodbye. Oh my gosh, it's Peter Pan. Pooh Bear. Everyone's out there. Aladdin. Wait, I'm going to zoom in, guys. Oh my gosh, I'm going to zoom in. All up on the second floor of the That city. is so cool. I love it. And it looks like we got ourselves a Stella and a Peroni. Very fancy. Jackie got some fried mozzarella. And we got some bread. Focaccia. Focaccia bread. Focaccia. That's right. So but they give you the focaccia bread with any order. That's what I'm talking about right there. Drink that's awesome. On Main Street, USA. This is literally the only way to do it, you guys. <laughs> And like I said before, because I actually did a whole entire video actually hanging out on this patio for several hours, mm -hmm. just people watching and drinking Italian beers. This is one of my favorite places to get a drink at Disney World. Like it's, it's, it's like such a rare opportunity. The confection area is right there. Like, I love it. This is really good. I'm not a big fan of the mozzarella, mm. but Jackie says those are fantastic. They're really good. The sauce is really creamy. And delicious. The cheese is delicious. Those ah, are good mozzarella balls. But the bread. Oh, that olive oil is good. Yep, I love the focaccia. And it's you know what focaccia. else is great? I just realized having the music mm -hmm. for dinner. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't know if you can hear that too much, but that's amazing. Mm -hmm. And without doubt, this was definitely my most favorite drink of the night. I love it. I love it here. And with that, I think I am done here today. Had so much fun, and what a great way to end than to have a couple beers at Tony's and uh, enjoy Magic Kingdom as it actually closes. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. Make sure you check out Jackie's channel, Super Enthused. I'll put her channel in the description, and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye!